new kid in town, author, lecturer, and nutritional supplement guru, Adam Harmon. For the next hour, he'll be unleashing the power of natural medicine and conscious living. So listen up, America. It's the Adam Harmon Show. Ooh, we are here. We are back here on 790 AM KABC. This is the Adam Harmon Show. Hey, we've got a really great show today. I'm really excited. We've got an awesome guest from Hollywood Red Carpet to Conscious Lifestylist. Our guest, Sarah Delane, began honing your skills in empathy, psychology, emotional intelligence, and personal brand image. She has 15 plus years as a veteran in the entertainment industry, so she's seen some things. She had a near-death experience, though, in her mid-20s, changing the focus of her life forever, awakening within her heightened sensory abilities added to her already innate intuition. Following her inner guidance, she took a hiatus from the Hollywood scene to further her quest in deepening her spiritual wisdom. She packed up her belongings and she journeyed to her beloved Sedona, Arizona. She was motivated at that point to the next level where she dove deeper into the field of personal growth, leadership, expanding her knowledge through a series of transformational trainings, seminars, and personal mentorship. Well, Sarah Delane, thank you so much for joining us here at The Adam Harmon Show. Hi, thank you for having me. I feel like I should hire you to read my bio all yes, the time. That I, was so, I feel like, more entertaining than I could have done it. You know something? <laughs> and for all you folks out there who are just listening on the radio, tune into The Adam Harmon, that's spelled H-A-R-M-A-N, show on YouTube, and you can actually have seen me tap dancing at that time. That's why I sound like I'm out oh. of breath. You know, I've got so many questions for you here because, <laughs> you know, you're, you're such an interesting person when it comes to all the different types of things that you do to help people. But there are mm-hmm. some things that are absolutely magnificent. <laughs> I, I mean, how did you get to the point of, of being such a successful coach who, who handles not only relationships, but certain aspects of business planning and also mission statements on individuals as well? Yeah, and uh, personal brand also is something that's been really uh, part of a passion of mine. Uh, Probably so much from the entertainment industry, right? I've got over probably 22 years with brand identity, you know, marketing, sales, all of that stuff just Mm -hmm. within that industry. Mm -hmm. Um, And then as far as the relationships go, which is a huge passion of mine as well and what I love guiding uh, my clients on, uh, being, I feel like, in the industry really helped uh, my. I became more and more fascinated, right, with the well, psychology you were, and human behavior. You were working behavior. for one heck of a brand in the first place. You, you were a regular on General Hospital, isn't it? There was that. There was, <laughs> <laughs> she she is so modest. That, it's, like, it's literally like trying to pull like someone like out of like that happened. It, it's it's such modesty here. <laughs> oh, that happened. That she happened. was fabulous during it. But go ahead. So talk more about branding. Uh, uh, yeah, so I feel like everything, everything in life, right? It guides you to your next step. Hopefully, if you're if your heart open and spirit guided, and you know, following what your per- uh, purpose is, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, getting into doing personal branding and relationships. But what got really... you there? What I mean, what what made you go? You know, I gotta do this. <laughs> I, I gotta do this. Talk to me, girl. I feel like I really love it. It's really, um, it's probably it. It allows my creative side to uh-huh. be more expressed. The relationship side, like I mentioned, you know, that's I, I geek out on psychology and human behavior and just understanding like what makes us tick and uh-huh. specifically around like the subconscious mind. And most importantly, then how we create our belief systems, which create then our identity, right, uh-huh. which then create our external life and our reality. Uh-huh. And so if that's not going well, then we are powerful enough to then shift it. But we have to shift it within ourselves first obviously coming from the place of there's nothing wrong right you're whole you're complete everything's good you're not trying to fix anything oh i feel better now right (laughs) but wow you know when i came out today i was doubting that but go ahead oh good 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 good. well it's raining today everybody's doubting (laughs) so you're also you're also a master nlp practitioner i do that too and what is that? Because I've actually, I've, I've had the honor of sitting down every once in a while mm. when she talks to somebody about this stuff. And I'm going, where did you get that information from? And she goes, <laughs> master NLP practitioner. And some of it is like getting my techniques and really understanding NLP, which I like to define it as the true science uh-huh. of the subconscious mind. Ah. Right. So some people are like, oh, it's just linguistics. And I'm like, no, it's so much more in mm. really just understanding self. So gaining that and then com- kind of combining it with my sort of spiritual, you know, alignment mm-hmm. 
I think really brings everything full circle. Great, great. Yeah. That's marvelous. Hey, you know something? You deal with so many people, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you know, if you've t- told me some stories, obviously without mentioning names, mm-hmm. but you've told me some stories in regards to just some relationships that you've saved. Uh, you know what? If, <laughs> hey, listen, girl. She's so modest; it's ridiculous. When 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 I say, you know, you you woke people from the dead, you resurrected, <laughs> the, and you cured cancer, and she just giggles. What is wrong? You're just too modest. Okay, no. She's done some great things with relationships, but what are the top three relationship problems that your clients are complaining about these days? And can you mm. give us some like successful strategies to overcome them? Thank you. Yes, I will. And and with that, I do also want to say that it's it's part of being able to see what I've gone through even yeah. in my life and then having the compassion for that and then never wanting anybody to experience anything like that. Right. Good. good. And so from that standpoint, um, uh, uh, there's three primary things that really people come to me for. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll do a little shout out to my Instagram community because we do a live every Tuesday. And so they come with their questions. Uh-huh. And so I get to actually hear what their problems are. Uh, right? how, do, how do people sign on to that Instagram community? It's Instagram Live. You just it's Instagram follow Live. me and then follow you. So what, what would they follow? They'd follow <laughs> Seeking Sarah. Serotonin, Sarah Delane. Can you spell something out here? At Sarah Delane, S-E-R-A-H-D-L-A-I-N-E. It's every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Cool. Uh, and so with that. And that's on Instagram. That is on Instagram. Okay, great. So with Replays that. Replays on YouTube. Yes. So with cool. that, I get to um, really connect with everyone and then feel into, you know, where they're at and what their questions mm-hmm. are and what they're dealing with. Um so the primary aspects of what people really come to me for are either how to let go, right? Either usually it's a toxic relationship or something emotionally draining. Mm. And so how do I let go? How do I move on? How do I get that sort of like Advil to feel better, <laughs> right? <laughs> At least temporarily. And then we can go in and dive into like the good stuff, okay. you know, of like why we attracted it, which right, is right. the second thing, uh-huh. you know, why they keep attracting those same types of partners, uh-huh. right? And right. that was something that was a question for myself as well. So I can't teach anything. I haven't figured out my own patterns for. There you go. So, uh, yeah, other than that, um, a lot Aligning with their 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 path and their soul's, you know, bigger mission and purpose, you know, which is where then creating a personal brand and really connecting with what your soul's, you know, passion is and making that, you know, soulfully successful, I guess. Soulfully successful. <laughs> On a month, Peter. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, um, it's really about... Um, you know, how do I, for women, it's how do they connect deeper with their feminine side, uh-huh. their self-love, uh-huh. all of that, really listening to their internal feminine voice, uh-huh. um, and then balancing that with masculine and feminine, their essence, right? And so that's the same thing with men as well. So I feel like that's when, I like to say that when we have more acceptance versus resistance to both masculine and feminine essence, then we're going to create more harmony in our relationships. That sounds logical to me. Thanks. Uh, thanks. There we go. <laughs> Okay. You know, it, it's, it's, it's well really, thought out. It's well thought out. You've been doing this for a living. Just a, just a tad. Just a tad. Just, I've been geeking on trying to figure it there out. There we you know? go. Saving lives, curing cancer. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> just made her choke. I can't ever say that I can cure I cancer. just made her choke. And you would have seen that if you were on YouTube and you subscribed to the Adam Harman show. Choked on my water. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Hey, All right. you know, an, another question for you before we go. We've got like yeah. a f- couple of minutes. Great. Relationships and business may sound like two totally different subjects. Um, mm. Uh, you know, why do you specialize in both of them? Is there a connection? Explain. They're so similar. Do this, do this for me in 90 seconds. Come on. 90 seconds. Right. Okay. Pretty no. much right. the cliff notes is, you know, our relationships and purpose are two of the biggest things that um, allow our soul its deepest experience. Mm-hmm. Right. That all being said, in business, what I feel like we're wanting okay. is that authenticity. Right. That um, connection. We don't we want to face. We want to connect with something. We don't want a logo. Mm-hmm. Right. And creating the relationships and the uh, rapport with your audience on a business level, which hence then bringing in the personal brand allows you to do that Great. with love. I mean, with with technology and all these different things that are separating our connection so much, I feel like we want more than ever that level of authenticity so much so that we want like naked, raw vulnerability in our relationships, <laughs> you know, so we want that in business and we want that in our romantic partnerships mm-hmm. as well. So creating a personal brand in business is a way to help you show up in that authentic way, right, right as right. who you are rather than hiding behind a business or a brand, or a, a logo, so to speak, right? right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also, I like to say, what 
because a lot of people come to me and they're what I call multi-creatives, kind of like me. So it's like, I want to do all this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. How do I do that? <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say it. This may be. All right. I feel like the niche, right? Right. You have to niche some things in business, but niche I feel on. like the niche is going, it's, it's the edges are getting softer. I'll uh, say it that way. There you and go. And so there's ways for multi-creatives you know, to you know, do so everything they we're, want. We're heading in a news break right now, but Great. if you'd like to ask our guest a question in our go next in. segment, there we go. She'll be available <laughs> to you. All you got to do is give us a call at 1-800-222-5222. That's 1-800-222-KABC. We'll be back with more of The Conscious Lifestylist, Sarah Delane. Ooh, we are back. We're back, and you're listening to The Adam Harmon Show on Talk Radio, 790 AM, KABC. We are here again with our special guest, The Conscious Lifestylist. Sarah Delane. Hi. Sarah, good to have you. Thank you. I'm Thank so happy to be here. Thank you for Thanks having me. Thanks for sticking in there. <laughs> there we go. She came into our studio, and you would know this. You would see the beautiful face of Sarah Delane, um, uh, ex uh, soap opera star and, and amazing cosmic lifestylist. Not cosmic. Cosmic. Lifestyle. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Um, cosmic conscious, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> that excuse, was a good phrase. <laughs> excuse me. Conscious lifestylist. <laughs> Okay, um, we have her here today. We That's have awesome. more questions to be able to push her way. And one of those ones things is, is what kind of people come to see you? You do so, so many interesting things. I mean, can you share a success story? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you want me to pick one? Pick um, one. Okay. Uh, is, isn't it hard, especially when you've been doing this for a while? It's like, one. Because each one, like, gives me, honestly, each one gives me chills. Like, it's such a fulfilling thing of, like, okay, I had just a tiny little bit to do with, like, you feeling amazing or getting that success or reaching that next level of your relationship. Or So um, I'll combine one because I know we're, we're short on time. So um, one of my female clients um, – you know, just really coming from background of not feeling very confident, right? right. Really just um, coming from a lot of abusive relationships mm. um, uh, and just not feeling like, just not really having that vision on on her and, and just what she really could create in yeah. her life. And so we did some sort of repatterning, right? And, and finding out what those deeper patterns and programs were as to why that was happening into her life and then releasing that. And then like that just opened up a whole other world for her. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm talking for her, which is interesting, but um, what she shared was um, she was like, I've, she's like, you've almost shown me like who I am in the whole universe, like who, what my deeper energy and essence is here. What your purpose is. What a deeper purpose is. Wow. And so what that has now turned into, you know, and I laugh because she's like at work, she's like, I fired some of my clients. <laughs> you know, she's like got this confidence now where she's like, oh, you're, you're kind of, you know, toxic. I don't really want you as a client there we anymore. Go. And I'm like, that's so amazing. It makes me so happy. And we're working on her writing a book with all of her expertise. And that's really making her feel fulfilled like and combining, you know, her knowledge from her life as well as then her expertise in, in business. And I won't share too much, obviously, about that. But there we go. Yeah. Of course, of course, of course. So yeah. like what, what uh, you know, there's so many people out there. I'm asking what's many times here. There's so many people out there who really think that working with a coach means only working with them for months on end months and oh. years it's 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 like it's like going to like a chiropractor or something and i love <laughs> chiropractic uh, chiropractic I do. Saved it my serves its purpose it serves its purpose yeah, yeah, yeah. but sometimes they ask you to come in a lot that's why i use the metaphor okay <laughs> the analogy well but, so does everybody i guess right doctors yeah, everybody you know <laughs> there you we could go. you could run that on the dentist too it's like the ev <laughs> every six months you have to come in is there something wrong no just to, to make sure that my wallet is full. No. Right. Okay. So basically speaking, a lot of people think that that it would require months and months and months to transform. Can you tell us about something that I've learned that you do and I, you told me about it and I thought it was marvelous because mm -hmm. I heard some of the, the cases on it. You do something called a 30-minute relationship remedy <laughs> session. 30 <laughs> minutes. I mean, you must be dumping gold for people to love this. I know you're pretty full on that as well. Um, I am. And it's actually, it's for me, it's really fun. 
And and don't get me wrong, I love the deeper sessions that I do. Uh-huh. Um, and yet, a different thing happens uh-huh. when when you only have thirty minutes, right? And mm-hmm. so I almost start connecting. Uh, I, I'll say, you know, on a deeper sort of connected spiritual level and mm-hmm. start channeling in whatever that person then needs to hear in that moment, right. as well as then obviously the tools and techniques and, you know, strategies and whatnot. Um, and so it, it, it's very fast, mm-hmm. right? And I feel like my energy is very fast paced and my mind works about a, like a rocket half mm-hmm. the time. And so being able to get somebody resources or, or, or strategies or techniques or just, just clarity or just a remedy, literally, like how we were talking about, you know, an Advil. Like if you have a headache, yep. you're like, okay, I'll deal with why I have a headache in a minute, right. but can I just get rid of the headache for a second? And then I can think more clearly. So that was where I really set up that because it it just really goes right in. And it's like, okay, what relief do you need for right now? You're not skimming over the surface of whatever the deeper issue or problem or pattern is. Right. But it's like, cool, let's get clarity now mm-hmm. and then open it up for, all right, do you want to do deeper work on that so you don't keep getting a headache, so to speak? Right. right? Right. So I'm personally, it's my belief that when we're when we're doing inner work, right, because our inner will match our outer. Mm-hmm. So if we want a really wonderful outer, mm-hmm. you do the math. And I don't believe that it has to take a long time. I'm I, I respect, um, you know, psychology and I respect psychologists and all of that stuff. It's my personal belief you don't have to go to therapy for for six years on something that you could make a shift with and and have a huge transformation in so much less time, right? Yeah. Granted, I will say we have, you know, some people call it layers of an onion. I don't like onions. So I say a rose. We have petals to a rose. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have multiple petals of the rose, right? We so go. we're all going to have deeper things to work on. Um, but where can you get super quick clarity and, and relief on something that's happening right now? Cause we're in that society when we want what we want, we need it right now. Right. Then we got to figure out what's going on. Yeah. yeah. So that was the purpose of setting that up. I, I know many times you'll also talk about not only it's sort of like, you know, will I stay or will I go <laughs> in regards, in regards to the relationship. So many people are like stuck on it's a great song. And, the, and there we go. <laughs> We last day out. No, I'm not going to do this to you folks. Don't out do there. it. Don't, don't do just it. don't do it. No, all right, I won't do but, it either. All right, nobody do it in this entire audience. Please, thank it's you. It's not embarrassing. All right, but the thing is, is, is that oftentimes you're helping people to understand and let go yeah. if it's the t- right time to let go, which is which is beautiful magic. It's like gold, or mm. you're giving them a different perspective on how to be able to move forward with mm-hmm. it. So uh, it, it's, is, is that, is, I think that's what you're doing. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you nailed something on the head really, really powerfully with that. And um, the the secret to letting go. Uh-oh, there we go. The se- <laughs> wasn't that a book? Go ahead. <laughs> the secret was. Yeah. I don't, I, secret, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, that might be my book. I haven't titled my book yet. But go. anyways, um, the secret to letting go. Yes, you have patterns. Yes, you have to release all those things and all that uh-huh. stuff. But it's also how, like, can you look into the future? Because if you're focused on your past, then you're not focused where you're going. And so all of your attention and energy is going to what's behind you. And then you're bringing your past into your present, mm-hmm. which then obviously brings it into your future. So one of the deeper secrets of letting go mm-hmm. isn't about saying, I need to keep letting go. Mm-hmm. You need to release whatever those patterns are, which needs to happen in a subconscious level, right? right. Okay. So your meditations and your mantras can do only so much. Right. That's on a conscious level. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it's really about, okay, what's the future vision and how am I strategically stepping into that? What am I going to create? What's the next version of myself? And what does that look like? And, and how do I get from where I am to then that place? Action steps. Action steps. And things will come up at that time, too. So that's where the process, I feel like, of, you know, I don't even really like to say coaching because I don't I don't feel like somebody who's just like an accountability. Like coaching goes so much deeper than just accountability. Right. There's different kinds of coaches, I should say. Yes. So um, I like problem solving. I like I geek out on really understanding what that element of someone's human you know behavior is mm-hmm. and then how to shift that quickly so then we can start feeling better and then ultimately the goal is so that we can have deeper sense of self love right. right so that then ultimately we can have a deeper sense of loving each other more what a concept powerfully. and what a concept there you go 
Hey, so so how <laughs> Did can that answer your question? I don't even That answered my question. We're going to go on to the next question. Yes. Make sure to bring your number two pencils along. No, yes. that's I'm sure. You really... can't basically you can't in order to get to your purpose, yeah. you you have to well, how do I want to say this? Your purpose and and your relationship with self is also connected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then your relationships with other people are okay. also connected. Hey, you have an awesome free event coming up um, in the next few days. Um, yeah. Can you tell our listeners about it in about 90 seconds? Sure. Go ahead. So um, speaking on that topic, I've uh, created Reviving Radiance, which uh, right now it's for women. And Reviving Radiance is a program st- specifically set up to do exactly what we've been talking about. So it's really releasing yourself from whatever those patterns or deep wounds are from the past, whatever that is, whatever light, that is. you know, heavy, light, whatever, because mm-hmm. um, we've all got it. Like, that's just being honest and we real, right? Release. We all <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I'm so not going to touch that. Yeah. Um, that being said, the second part of it is about really reviving, right, and mm-hmm. really getting in touch with your feminine essence and mm-hmm. your energy systems and really cultivating that mm-hmm. little Shakti energy. Mm-hmm. And then ultimately how to reinvent, which goes into creating a personal brand and your deeper passion and purpose. So it's sort of a full package um, uh, course, mm-hmm. and uh, and I am doing a webinar for that, a free webinar mm-hmm. on, uh, let's see, the 19th, mm-hmm. March 19th. Right. I think, what is that, a Monday? Um, so I will be posting tonight a link on my Instagram. And the Instagram, once again, is? At S-E-R-A-H-D-L-A-I-N-E. So it's just at Sarah Delane, but Sarah spelled with an E. There you go. That yeah. sounds great. And people can contact you at that same uh at that same, uh, or, or should they contact you at the website for the 30-minute uh, relationship remedy? Right now, honestly, I love connecting with people through uh, Instagram okay. just because it's uh, it's where I'm creating a community and I'm, I'm rebranding. So. Great. Go, Sarah. <laughs> hey, Sarah, thank you so much for being our guest today on The Adam Harmon Show. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Sarah Delane. Pleasure being here. Thanks, Adam. All right, folks, we are going to take a short break, but stay with us. Uh, on our Can You Relate segment, which is up next. Oh. So if you're the first caller that can share 10 things that you love about your lady in 20 seconds or under, The Adam Harmon Show will send her one dozen roses. Just call 1-800-222-5222. That's 1-800-222-5222. Tell us 10 things in 20 seconds, and you could win. 1-800-222-5222. We're here for you. 